Well, after years of rapid growth, new figures from China confirm that the world's number two economy is still slowing down. Third quarter GDP dropped to 7.4% this year, its lowest level since early 2009. Beijing has released the latest figures showing that growth for the last quarter was 7.4%. That's down from 7.6% in the previous quarter. While China's economic expansion remains the envy of much of the world, 2012 is now officially the country's slowest year of growth since 1999. Chinese leaders have pledged to step up policies to bolster the economy and boost low levels of domestic consumption. Martin Patience explains. They've just got hitched and are now big spenders. Since the summer, Zhao Ying and her husband have splurged on a sofa, a TV, as well as two computers. In total, they've spent a cool $15,000 on furnishing their new home. We usually spend a lot of money. We want to have a good quality of life, but it's very expensive here. Carefree consumer spending is exactly what China's leaders want to see. In the town of Qinyan Liu, the orders are piling up. These goods would have once been shipped overseas. But this town is a major center for online shopping, catering for millions of Chinese consumers. Every day, Liu Yen sells 10,000 pairs of underwear. She says that by targeting the domestic market, her business has boomed. We currently have 10 staff in the office, but I'm looking to take on new people. I think this business has very good future. But despite the growth, Chinese consumption is just half that of the U.S. And that will be one of the biggest challenges facing China's next generation of leaders. Boosting domestic consumption won't be easy. It will involve carrying out painful economic reforms. But it's a process that China must go through in order to ensure more sustainable economic growth. <laughs> Zhao Ying likes the comforts of life. She spends what she earns and is just fine with that. China will need millions more like her if its economy is to change. Some analysts say the major factor behind China's slowdown is a sharp drop in its exports, the engine of the Chinese economy. Thus, as the Eurozone debt crisis continues, Europe is China's biggest trading partner. Consumers are uncertain about the future and have been cutting back on the spending. Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao lowered the country's growth target in March to 7.5% based on the negative effect of too fast growth. The level is down from last year's 8%. China apparently hopes to change its economic structure. We'll attach more importance to stable growth and keep implementing current policies. We'll adjust industries that are already growing and promote their development. We'll strengthen the foundations of sustainable, healthy growth. China's central bank has been trying to prop up the economy by cutting the key interest rate. The bank's policymakers did that in June and again in July. China is preparing for a major change in its leadership in November when the Communist Party meets for a national congress. The country's leaders want to maintain economic and social stability. Many inside and outside the country wonder whether Chinese leaders will take additional measures.